So it has been a really long time since I've seen you guys. It's been about two months since I've made a video, almost two months, because we were moving from England to Idaho and we finally made it, as you can tell, this is not the normal background. I'm in my empty living room and we're still waiting on our belongings. So I don't have my jewelry studio yet, but I do have a really, really exciting update that I wanna share with you guys because this is gonna be a huge change in my business. So a little background to making this big choice, this big change. So as most of you guys know, my name is Adriana and I run my own jewelry business called Matera Made. And I hand make all of my jewelry and sell it on my website. Most of my jewelry is made with the process of lost wax casting. So I carve my jewelry in wax and then I send it to a casting company to cast my jewelry in the metal that I choose. I've always wanted to do everything in-house from beginning to end. The casting equipment that you would need is very expensive. So I've just been letting myself grow slowly and getting the tools that I felt like were necessary first. And then it was always in my big picture to eventually get into casting, but I didn't think it would be this soon. So when I moved back to the States, I had a lot of trouble finding a casting company. Most of them had a lot of minimum, $500 to $1,000 minimum. A lot of people weren't even taking new jewelers. Sometimes whenever I'm making jewelry, I only send one piece or two or three. So having a minimum like that isn't realistic for me where I am right now. I ended up finding an independent casting house. It's just one guy and his his at home setup, but it made me think like, what if he gets sick or what if he goes on vacation? You know, who would I go to to cast my pieces? Would I have to put my business on pause because he's on pause? So it really pushed me to look more into, you know, what I needed to start casting for myself. Unfortunately, whenever I looked online, KayaCast was having a sale on, I think I got it on Pepe Tools, uh, but they were having a sale for about, was it, I think it was almost $500 off. And then also by signing up with my email, I got an extra 10%. So I thought, you know, I really can't pass this up. It's something that I want to purchase anyway. Although I didn't want to spend the money now, I did it. And I went ahead and bought all of the equipment that I need to cast in-house. So I will start learning and casting my own pieces. And ideally, I would love to start casting other people's pieces once I feel confident that I am capable. So I got the Kaya casting vacuum table. So the vacuum table allows you to vacuum suck all the bubbles out of the investment whenever you pour it over your mold so that you get a better cast. And then on the other side, there's the hole so that once you burn out the wax from your mold, you can put it in that hole and it will create a suction so that you, when you pour the metal, it pulls all of the silver or the gold through your cast and creates a better cast. So before we moved, I made myself a lot of wax some of the tools that I needed and my plan is to practice carve some pieces out and then practice casting that way once I have my studio back I will have practiced already and hopefully I will be decent or good at it and I can get back started on making and creating so yeah I'm gonna unbox this with you guys and then just stay tuned for more videos because I want you guys to learn with me. That's the point of this whole thing. I want you guys to see all the mistakes, what I figure out along the way because I'm really just using Google and YouTube per usual to teach myself. So let's open this casting table and then I will show you all the other equipment. boxes inside. I'm guessing one is the vacuum top, like the little plastic dome. And then here is the casting table. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I don't know if I can get this part out. I might need Tom's help. Oh my god. Okay, I cannot lift that out by myself. I'm gonna wait for Tom and then I'll get a good video of the table. I do plan on doing an individual review on each piece of equipment, how to set up each piece of equipment and all of that stuff. So this is the oil. I know you have to fill it before you use it. So it came with a little flask and the holes are so that it can create that suction and pull it down. And then it also came with the rubber base, so this can be taken off so that you can create your treat. Some seals.
stone for the vacuum part of the table that you put the investment under to get all of the bubbles out. They really committed to this packaging. Wow. Wow. Are we just gonna pull it right up? Okay, so I'm down in the basement and I want to show you guys what's going to be the jewelry room and I want to do an entire room tour of this once it all gets set up but I will give you a sneak peek and I do want to say that none of this casting gear is going to go in this room because there's carpet and I don't want to have a bunch of things that are like on fire and that hot for that long in like our main living area. Once I get ready to start using it, I'm going to put it all in the actual basement and it's gonna go on a, a different desk. But let me show you what we have so far. So this is the basement room. It is an okay size. I don't think I could have cast it in this room and made jewelry as well. I think I have too much stuff in here. I got this little table at Harbor Freight, which is really nice. So if there's anyone that's wanting a jeweler's bench but they don't wanna spend the money on it, this was $140. Uh, it's on sale right now. And honestly, I think you could, you could put a GRS vise on there, just screw it into the front and use this table. I think it would work just fine. And then the bottom table pulls out really nicely, which would be a good little catch tray. So this is the uh, melting furnace that I bought. It's Tuato. I got it on Amazon. It had pretty good reviews. It was better in my budget than some of the more expensive ones. They have some that you hand pour, which are really nice, but just too expensive for me right now. So this is gonna be a good starter one. Of course, I got a fire extinguisher, which is very important when doing all of this type of work. It came really nicely packaged, nothing's broken. It came with two crucibles, graphite crucibles. And yeah, so this one I got on Amazon and I have it listed in my Amazon storefront, as well as this tabletop furnace. So this is my burnout kiln. This also is a budget item. It does have really good reviews as well. So this is only big enough to fit one flask inside, which I think is the biggest down Downside, but when you're just starting, I think it's okay to just get what you can afford and I, this had really good reviews on Amazon. So there are two models of this furnace. One is a kiln for mainly pottery. It's not for burning out. So you want to make sure that you choose the one that says burnout kiln and it'll say burnout for wax or resin. So be really careful. I got super close to buying the wrong one because the other one was $100 cheaper. Of course, I thought, why would I pay for this one when I could have it for $100 cheaper? I added it to my cart and thank goodness I watched the video on it on Amazon that said, you know, if you're doing wax burnout or resin burnout, this is not the one you want. You want the other model. Another good way to tell is there's a little hole at the top. If the hole is not there, this is not a wax or resin burnout kiln. So just make sure you buy the right one. This one, I need to do the initial burnout. They say that there's a lot of like smoke and smells that come with that. So I'm just kind of nervous to start using this, but this melting furnace came with the gloves that you need to do all of this, which is really nice. And it came with some tongs. I started an Amazon storefront for casting as well. So if you want to know everything that you need, everything that I purchased, I did put it all together in there. I do earn a commission from that, but it's at no cost to you if you purchase it from there. So if you are looking to start casting your own jewelry or you're just curious and how this process works, just keep watching. Just like I love to share my process videos and how I make my jewelry, I really want to share this learning process. I want you guys to see the mistakes that I make and how I fix them or to learn from my mistakes. And yeah, if this can be helpful to any of you, watching someone from the very get-go learn this science and craft, then subscribe because I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop with this entire thing. If any of you guys have done this, are doing it, have any tips to share, anything that can help this process go faster for me or better for me, if you have any of this equipment and you have any recommendations, 
please, please put it in the comments because it's going to be helpful not only to me but to someone else as well. I'm just very excited and I can't wait to get back to everything and I will see you all very, very, very soon. Bye guys.